Welcome to Movie Monday, where I put a movie on the list thinking it's one thing and only to find out I was wrong. Uh, <laughs> I originally confused this with The Beautiful Mind, so that's why I put it on the list to begin with. Um, and so, as I said, as we said at the end of the last one, because we actually did not know anything about this, um, we said that, hey, we should go into this not looking anything up whatsoever. However, I did need to, like, go to Wikipedia to put the poster on the thing. And while I was there, I thought I happened to see the name Jim Carrey, and I was like, oh no. Um, he is in the movie, but I feel like this is really wrong, but I liked him. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel the same way. I, I, I was like, at first when you see him, I was like, oh no, it is Jim Carrey. And then I was, and... As I kept watching the film, I was like, oh, it's not like the... It's basically Jim Carrey not playing Jim Carrey. Does that make sense? Yes, very. <laughs> I kind of imagine, because I've heard that he's like a, you know, a, a well-read person. So I was like, okay, maybe this is like real Jim Carrey. <laughs> real Jim Carrey. Yeah. Instead of actor persona Jim Carrey. Yeah, and now yeah. like I actually want to see maybe some other films that he's in that are not comedies. Yeah, yeah, same. Because I know he's in, like, one of the movies that he's in that people say is really good is The Truman Show. Um, oh, yeah, I think we have I that, that on, the on the list. Yeah, yeah, I did put it on the list because, again, I heard it was really liked, but I was still, like, hesitating about it because I was like, but it's Jim Carrey, though. But now I'm like, now I feel a bit more uh, confident. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so this is an interesting movie. It is. At first, I was like, "Where is this going?" And then the plot kind of takes you on a, a trip, mm -hmm. to say the least. Yeah, and like at first, I was kind of worried because it seemed to sort of be like, "Wait, is this kind of like a manic pixie, manic pixie dream girl situation?" Yeah, yeah, I was worried too, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, she has blue hair! Kill me!" Yeah, and I'm just like, "Uh oh!" But then, like, and the thing is, it's not like it's not that. But it doesn't focus on that aspect of this kind of story at all. It's not like, oh my god, it's this crazy girl, what kind of shenanigans is she going to go through? Or yeah, because like, like the thing is, that does happen if you were to like look at the plot in chronologically, right? The whole thing yeah. is that here's this kind of boring guy and he gets swept up by this kind of weird girl. Like, that is the story, but that's not the focus of the narrative and how it's told. Yeah, so, yeah. It's, it's interesting in that sense. And yeah, like what you said about how like at first it seemed like you're very confused, but it was it was like you you understood it the plot fed you the details in like the right w manner and the right uh pacing, I feel. Yeah. To get I what was going so. on. And the side characters I Can think I just get the... this out of the way. I did not like the side characters at all. <laughs> I can't say I didn't like them, but they just kind of felt pointless yeah they annoyed I me i was like just stop i am not interested the i only... did not expe expect kate i was like wait a minute it's it's mary jane yeah mary, it's mary jane, jane, jane is dating and, hulk and, and i was yeah. like all right let's not taint poor and then, mark ruffalo and then there's also elijah wood yeah yeah. But being a creepo. <laughs> yeah, like that was again like the only real connection between their thing and like the other two was that like you know the was the whole thing with Elijah Wood like kind of you know trying to then hit on uh, Clementine. But like <laughs> so creepy. But, yeah, but even then, it's just like it's not really that important. So cut them out of the movie. Yeah, like honestly, it just is like why? What's the point of this kind of element? Of this? Yeah, if it was it, honestly, if we're just talking about like you know. Uh, Joel and Clementine. I like this a considerable amount. Um, yeah. But the other two, and again, it, I, to me, I don't dislike them. They're just like, kind of, what's the point? So, it brings it down a bit, but like, not a lot, but it's still kind of wondering, like, how much, though. I feel like the only reason, like, at least one of the only reasons that they had to put the plot with the side characters is so that they got the tapes back, but I feel like that could have been done off-screen, too. Like, maybe they just got defunded or something. Or, or even, you could have the thing about, like, you know, the the whole plot 
twist thing about the the secretary receptionist kind of like with that whole thing mm. but like you could just have that kind of be a little piece of the movie without kind of having all of the other stuff happening i feel that's yeah, true there's, yeah. there's a lot of crossover anyway so what's the point of putting all this weird shit about two of them getting high for no reason yeah eh. so yeah, it's just, it's, just, it's just kind of an odd... And another thing I'm thinking of is probably just in terms of, like, how long the movie was. Because this is not a long movie. Mm-hmm. And so I'm guessing, like, if you just had what they had story-wise for uh, Clementine and Joel, it would only be, like, like an hour. Film. Yeah. So, that's, that's my guess. I'm not sure. But, yeah. It's, it's definitely interesting, because, again, like, it's not... The ending is also, it's not your typical, like, oh, and then they realized what's more important, and now they're happy. It's like, uh ah. Yeah. Not They're really. always so kind of throwing, they're more so like, look, let's try again, and let's see what happens, and you don't know if things worked out again mm-hmm. or not. You just know that they gave it a second chance, and I think that's kind of what the film was pushing for, basically. Like, yeah. Forgetting something doesn't necessarily equal good. Per yeah. Se. yeah. Well, and also like even if even if the second chance still failed, like the whole point was that the memories that were good are still there. Right? Yeah. So it's yeah because again it, the movie doesn't really try to hide the fact that like because again like at, at the beginning it's like these characters seem really different. Why would they like work well with each other, right? And the movie mm-hmm. kind of doesn't hide that. It's sort of like yeah they are really different, so it it makes sense that they would kind of you know fall apart. So, yeah. yeah, I don't know. It's, it's an actual, like, kind of nice balance of things that are oftentimes not balanced, right? No. So. Yeah, it's it's not the movie to watch to, like, I don't know, get, like, a, it's not, it's not like, a, oh, happy people in relationships, yay. It's not that kind of movie. But it's not exactly super depressing either. No. Strange it's not the balance. Notebook. <laughs> the notebook. God. <laughs> Yeah. Well, at least we didn't hate it. <laughs> yeah, Valen was a happy surprise, I guess. Yay. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Definitely like it more than Brazil. <laughs> That's not difficult. <laughs> no, but I am glad I didn't fuck us over royally. Because <laughs> the thing is, Brazil, like, again, there was a reason that it was on the list, and this was just purely I fucked up. <laughs> so, so <laughs> it was... No, 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 but I'm saying we didn't know anything about Brazil either, so that's that 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 was more so the point. No, but I put Brazil on the list, meaning to put Brazil on the list, not, not mm-hmm. <laughs> a different movie. <laughs> so... It's one of those things, yeah. I suppose. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know, it's if you're in for a strange mood and say go for it yeah definitely and we i guess we did give a small spoiler but it's uh, fine it's just, actually it was pretty spoiler free in terms of yeah well because it's it's hard it's if again if you could describe the plot of this movie without even really skipping over many details very and quickly still wouldn't Right. It wouldn't really make sense to someone no. who yeah. hasn't seen it. Because of the structure of the movie, it's, it's you know, the overall plot is very... Again, especially if you cut out the side stuff, you just talk about the plot between the two main characters. I could give you, like, a couple sentences and pretty much hit everything that's important. Mm, right? That's true. So, the plot itself is not the important part. So, yeah. Just, I don't know, if you want to see a movie with Jim Carrey where he's not a dumbass... <laughs> <laughs> And it, the motion's pretty good, acting's good, you know. Interesting structure, interesting style. I do like, um, this is just something kind of a personal preference. The whole, like, kind of, the, all the editing stuff they do in this in this movie. The kind of the trick editing. Um, mm. I just really like that kind of stuff. Um, I've seen a lot of, like, amateur things kind of use that too, and it still usually works there in an interesting way. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I just like the whole kind of trick editing with that. I think it's kind of always neat. I don't know. <laughs> Again, just because there isn't too much with the plot itself, there, I feel like there's not too much to talk about. Yeah. But uh, I guess we go to ratings. I guess. 
<laughs> it's super quick, but I guess, you know, probably nice not to listen to some dinguses talk about something for 40 minutes every single time, so. <laughs> uh, I think I know what number I'm going to give it. So, too. I'm going to give it a low 8. If it was just the two mains, I'd probably give it up. I'd probably have it be like a mm, low 9, but mm. the side stuff brings it down like to a low 8. I think I'm going to give it a high 7. I think that's where I'll put it. Okay. Where I, for similar reasons with the side characters and all that stuff. I guess I'll be the weird one. Um, I'm going to give it a 6. Okay. I like the main characters, but... At the same time, it took me a very long time to get invested in the story. Maybe it's because of the side characters and mm. the complete pointlessness mm. of that plot. And at the end, I was like, okay, this is a nice ending. But at, at the same time, I was kind of like, I wish I cared more. Mm. That's fair. It's sort of, again, how much do you like the main thing and how much does the side stuff get down, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. And I guess we all kind of agree to that to some extent. It's just, you know, the level of I which... I guess I hate the side story the most. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, it's just how much do you dislike the side stuff and how much do you like the main stuff, and it's the balance of that. Mm. We're all close, yeah. but the balance is a bit different. So that's fair. It, it would have been different if, like, one person gave a 10 and the other person yeah. gave, like, a 5 and the other person gave a 1. Yeah. Well, because, like, again, like, I've said this before, even if, like, we agree on, like, what we like about something, the actual degree of that like is probably going to be different, right? Yeah. So, yeah. This is just kind of an example where that comes up noticeably in terms of the, the numbers. I think after this, I have definitively decided that I don't like Kirsten Dunst as an actress. <laughs> oh, because I saw her and I was like, oh no, she's going to be the annoying girl. And she was. <laughs> I mean, she's like annoying in a completely different way for Mary Jane, though. Yeah. yeah I mean, like, then again, of course, Mary Jane, she was high. Like, Haha, I see funny. her face now and I'm like, oh no, I'm I'm going to hate her. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't I didn't mind her, but yeah. I don't, eh. Sorry, Kirsten. No hard feelings. <laughs> And you have Creepo Frodo. <laughs> I feel vindicated with that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I it's, didn't like Frodo. It's either. just kind of weird that, like, I see him, that, like, I don't know. Yeah, it, it felt weird. I almost didn't recognize him at yeah. first. Well, no, it wasn't. It's not his, it's his voice. That was what was confusing me, because I just it was, like, picturing Frodo and I hear his voice, and I'm like, this just doesn't <laughs> work. <laughs> <laughs> Cognitive dissonance. Yeah, it's like I know him again. Elijah would like he. It's, it's that he's Frodo, and then in that like the Legend of Spyro games, he was Spyro. <laughs> and then he's also in the Death and Return of Superman. Yep. Oh yeah, I forgot that about YouTube that. video. <laughs> Just randomly out of nowhere. But uh, anyway, speaking of randomly out of nowhere, are we gonna? Oh yeah, we anything. have to randomly out of nowhere the next movie. Yeah, is it going to be something else? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Actually, I think what was replaced? everything we have... Oh yeah, okay. So what was replaced here is a movie called In Time. Now, mm. I have seen this. Um, these two have not. And I believe you no. two don't know anything about this at all, right? No. Okay, so this movie is not great. I don't think it's horrible, but it's not... Great. The main th reason I put it on the list is because it's a very interesting example of a not great movie. <laughs> okay. So okay. I I, ho I hope that make when you actually see it, I hope that makes sense. Okay. I don't want to spoil <laughs> anything about it, and again, and I don't want you to look anything up about it. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ho cool. Hopefully, you don't hate me for a while. I don't think you'll hate it. I just think it again. Yeah, it's just. You'll Whatever. see when we get when we get to I it. Mean, hopefully, you understand. Best case scenario is that we find it hilarious. I guess. I don't know. Is there potential for that? Um, maybe. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I'll be hoping for a comedy. <laughs> oh, anyway, what are we actually getting though? We getting? Oh, I think. Yep. Two? We're getting District Nine. What? 
Oh boy. Uh, what the fuck's District 9? Wait, you don't know District 9? Oh. Wait, you don't know District 9? I know it. That's why I picked it. It's my pick. I... I... Is I've it heard of it before. Movie? I think I've seen the poster. Yeah, There's it's... There's so many things named 9. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... The premise of this movie is... Uh... Maya's gonna love this from how this is gonna start, but it's not how you think- it's not what you think it is. Um, Aliens Land. Um, but the whole thing is that it's basically an- it's- they- they sort of show up in South Africa, and they're kinda like, their ship gets fucked up or whatever, so they have to just kind of hang out in South Africa, and it's a giant, like, allegory for, like, apartheid and stuff. Okay. So, in a lot- I- again, here, I- I've seen the first, like, third of this. Like, on a plane or something. So- it was one of the, and again, especially, it, I saw it when I was, like, 15 or something, and I remember, like, being kind of, like, not super into it as much as I, not, not that I was, wasn't into it, but there, there was a scene that happened that kind of squicked me out, um, and I think I can kind of get past that, and I'm interested to actually see the whole story, so, yeah. <laughs> Aliens and sci-fi, great. <laughs> having a fun day today all but, we need is dystopia and i'm set look i'm just saying that i a lot of people like this even those who are not like huge on sci-fi so i don't think you should write this off okay though there is a group of people i know who don't like it but it's one of those it's i think you'll like it maybe i don't know <laughs> i'm trying okay <laughs> <laughs> Two uh, sci-fi movies back to back, yo. Uh, I mean, this is. I mean, I, if you, I don't know if you would you count this sci-fi. I guess so. It's I like, mean, on Wikipedia, I feel like I mean conceptual. Movies. I guess sure, but I wouldn't describe it as like I, a sci-fi film. You're erasing like, people's memories. I feel like if it doesn't explain like whatever science it's trying to explain in the film, then it's not like. Technically, a sci-fi. Does that make sense? I guess so, but like there are some other movies that are like quote unquote sci-fi, and they still don't explain shit. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Well, I guess there's there's the link, right? Oh yeah. So wait, what was our okay? Because we closed the loop with last. So Stand by Me. Oh wait, how would yeah? How would Stand by Me lean into this? Is it? Well, wait, no, Stand By Me, it took place, like, all of the film was, like, the guy remembering back on his childhood, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so that's kind of a similar thing with this here, and then... How are we gonna tie Spotless Mind to District 9? I, from what I remember of District 9, I don't know, but I don't remember it that so well. So we'll find out next so time. So I guess we'll find out. <sighs> okay, well, uh, so yeah, next time is District 9. Oh, boy. Woo. Woo? Woo, indeed. Goodbye. Bye.